Hi everybody, my name is Daniel Rowe. In this demo, I'm going to showcase how to use SSH credentials to connect a remote Git SSH repository using JBoss EAP 740 beta. Let's get started. In order to save my demo time, I actually already installed JBoss EAP 740 beta. As you see, there are a bunch of the configuration on the standalone directory. For example, standalone dash full ha, standalone dash ha, and standalone dot html. So we're gonna start uh, JBoss EAP instance using default standalone XML. And once it uh, started, uh, you can find the right version. As you see, EAP 740 better uh, version EAP just running on my local machine. When you go to admin console, you can find uh, some kind of this message because we don't have any management role or credential at the very beginning time. If you want to access the admin console, you have to create a management role and a credential uh, as well. We're going to do that actually a little bit later. So I'm going to stop the running EAP. So next step, I'm going to run EAP once again with the SSA credential. To do that, I need to generate the key pair store and also uh, a credential store. So luckily JBoss EAP provided an electron tool which allows us to create the credential store. For example, uh, here is the, name, the credential name is CS underscore example CS file which is a credential store which allows uh, store key pair with a specific algorithm for example uh, RSA algorithm. So let's try to create a new key pair to store in that uh, credential store. So we're going to use the uh, Allotron tool once again uh, with the algorithm uh, RHS and the specific size. And uh, once we create the key pair, we can find uh, our public key using Allotron tool here. So just copy the public key and go to your developer project, for example, in my Git report, and go to setting. And then you can find the SH and GPG key menu and create a new uh, SS key, you can just paste that your public key, just created that from uh, Allotron uh, script tool. But I already created that for the demo ahead of time. So go back to our coming our console, and then the next step, we're going to create the, the Wildfly configuration, which he, uh, we needed to refer that key pair we just created and store in credential store. So here is the old default configuration I just copied from Chichi. The one thing you have to do that, we need to uh, actually use absolute or uh, relative pass, specifically under B directory. So once we, did, once we create the wide pride config file, here is my configuration uh, repository, which I wanted to share with my developer team. As you see, there is the sample text file, like a test text test dot text file and also I already print the, the my one of the credential as a management uh, property. So I'm gonna use this uh, compilation repository using SSH git repository uh, based on SSH credential. So I just copy the git repo URL and the git branch is main uh, and also I'm gonna add one more parameter git auth uh, with the uh, wider pri configuration XML we just created that. So you can actually use a PI protocol but also URL protocol as well. So when you run uh, this command line to execute JBoss EAP standalone server, you can find uh, uh, your old configuration uh, will be pulling down from Git repository rather than use your local directory. So your EAP is running on well, and then uh, let's go up to the logs, and then we can find that actually here. All right. Okay, here we go. So the compilation history managed it through the Git, which means your compilation override from the, your Git compilation. So. Let's try to open another terminal window and I'll try to go to standalone configuration. As you see, the text test text file uh, just pulling down and uh, just uh, take a look at that inside the file and then that's SH authentication we just saw in my Git repository. Okay, pretty cool. And then 
when you go to uh, admin console once again, and now uh, we just log in based on my credential. This is one of some browser caching, but the Daniel Low, I just uh, edited that credential on my management role, as you saw in my GitHub repository. All right. So one of the beauty of the JBoss EAP 7.4, uh, you can actually uh, make a snapshot and also push it and change it to Git repository directly uh, without using Git command line. So as you see, uh, the, the there is no snapshot at this moment, and I try to make some change here configuration directory. So I just try to remove standalone full HMA.xml because I don't need to use that um, with, in my developer team. And then I just deleted it and then go back to JBoss CLI uh, terminal and I try to uh, take a snapshot uh, with the uh, name, uh, let's say the, the snapshot one, and then uh, comment uh, remove configuration. So you can actually uh, take a multiple snapshot as well. Okay, I just created a new snapshot. And the list the snapshot, and we have find one snapshot here. If you try to uh, make a multiple snapshot, you can, you can actually publish that. So publish configuration with the uh, location. Uh, you can uh, have, you can put in the, the our uh, Git repository uh, with the uh, authenticate the SSH credential. We just outcome success here, and go back to our configuration Git repository. You can find the, the remote configuration. There is no HA configuration at this moment. Okay, so next step. So let's say we have a multiple developer on my team, and then I want to share this configuration with the deeper on uh, the other developers. So in order to do that, we're going to use the uh, cloud native environment like a core ready workspace. Here is my sample application. As you see here, the dev file already defined in the Git repository. When you run the core ready workspace with the parameter uh, Git repository project name, and it automatically uh, spin up your project. So click on developer sandbox. This is uh, for free for developer, Red Hat provide. So you can actually run developer sandbox and go to core ready workspace from OpenShift container dev. Uh, dev UI, but you can actually spin up the core ready workspace directly with your specific Git repository. So in the meantime, you can find the, uh, the core ready workspace uh, found your dev file from your Git repository, but also there are a bunch of stuff. In the meantime, let's try to go to uh, dev file, take a look at that. So here is the project name, uh, Kitchen Sink, uh, one of the uh, e quick start example on the JBoss EAP. You can actually report to Git repository for your source directory, or you can have a G file uh, as to your source. And uh, I'm going to use the uh, Docker image component uh, to run a JBoss EAP 7.4 beta. And uh, here is just some environmental value, such as a Maven option and Java option. And the one thing you have to do that, uh, you need to expose endpoint to access uh, application uh, presentation layer, but also you need to pass down some specific JBoss uh, option. For example, here, the Git report, Git branch, Git also, just like we did on my local machine. But one different thing is so we're gonna use uh, the HTTPS protocol URI because previously we just file protocol, but you, you can actually use the URI command line. And you can also add some command. This is one of the beauty of the dev file. So we're gonna take a look at that once the uh, code ready workspace is started. Okay, just code ready workspace started. On the left side in the Explorer Navigator, you can find exactly uh, what kind of project uh, from pull down from Git repository. So here is a Java project, just like your enterprise Java application. So when you go a little bit, uh, uh, drill down your project, there are controller and a data and a model, a REST for your application, presentation layer and a services and utility, just like the normal uh, enterprise Java application architecture. And then when you uh, open your tool and just, you can find, the, uh, open a new terminal here. So first of all, 
uh, just to make sure this application and the EAP already running inside the core ready workspace part. So take a look at that event variable and then with the JBoss uh, searching and the JBoss EAP version here 7.0.beta and then go to standalone compilation directory uh, just to make sure the share the compilation already pull down as you see the test.txt file and there's no standalone for HTML XML. So now we have the same developer team but one is from developer in local machine, the other one uh, developed on cloud-based ID tool. This is a more cloud every way. And then uh, let's try to build this application. Let's say I just create some application and bug fix, etc. You know, but for that, when you go to EAP uh, endpoint, as you see the this is the admin console landing page, but unfortunately the JBoss EAP admin console is not available in OpenShift container platform, which is a developer sandbox running on OpenShift as well. So try to uh, build this application. So let's try to hot deploy. This is one of the beauty of the JBoss EAP feature. So your EAP is actually running, but at a time we can deploy the actual application. So first of all, this is a Maven project. That's why we build the Maven packaging. In the meantime, when you go back to uh, OpenShift to uh, developer console on developer sandbox, you can find the EAP load just like a EAP 740 beta is running. Okay, so our application build just complete and I go to terminal window and I try to make sure uh, your wall file is deployed in a, in, into your EAP. So as you see, uh, the root wall file is just deployed and I just go to endpoint here. So we have a new application just deploy in the meantime as part of the hot deploy behavior. So try to add a new name just for fun. So my name Daniel and my email address and just my fake phone number and the register here. So new uh, data is just stored and you click on RESTful API. You can find the, the, uh, the data based on JSON format and you can find the all data here. Okay, so one thing maybe you can go to uh, Core Radio Workspace and uh, dev file compilation. You can find all dev file detail just like uh, we saw in the repository application. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.